सो हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ कार्तिक है एंड टूडे सन विल डिस्कस क्लास टेंथ सोशल साइंस सिविक्स पार्ट सो दिस इज योर चैप्टर नंबर थर्ड जेंडर रिलीजन एंड कास्ट सो दिस इज योर सेकेंड पार्ट फर्स्ट पार्ट लिंक इन डिस्क्रिप्शन सो यू कैन वॉच सो इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस ओनली एन सी आर टी सोल्यूशन सो क्वेश्चन नंबर फर्स्ट मैंसन डिफरेंट एक्सपेक्ट ऑफ लाइफ इन विच वुमेन आर डिस्क्रिमिनेटेड और डिसएडवाटेज इन इंडिया सो आंसर फर्स्ट पॉइंट लिटरेसी रेट द लिटरेसी रेट एमंग द वुमेन इज ओनली सिक्सटी फाइव पॉइंट फोर सिक्स परसेंट एज कम्पेयर टू एटी टू पॉइंट वन फोर परसेंट एमंग मैन सिमिलरली अ स्मॉल प्रोपोर्सन ऑफ गर्ल्स स्टूडेंट्स गोज फॉर हायर स्टडी बिकॉज पेरेंट्स प्रीफर टू स्पेंड देयर रिसोर्सेज फॉर देयर बॉयज एजुकेशन देन स्पेंडिंग इक्वली ऑन देयर डॉटर्स सेकेंड अनपेड वर्क The proportion of women among highly paid and valued jobs is still very small though on an average the Indian woman works 1 hour more than an average man every day but most of them are not paid equally and therefore their work is often not valued Next sex ratio In many parts of India parents prefer to have sons and find way the girls child aborted before she is born this has led to a decline in the child sex ratio the number of girl children per thousand boys in the country is 943 next domestic violence there are reports of various kinds of harassment exploitation and violence against women both urban as well as rural area have become unsafe for women they are not safe even within their homes from beating and other forms of domestic violence next question question number 2 state different forms of communal politics with one example each so answer religion is used in politics in exclusive terms this manner is using religion in politics is communal politics the communal problem becomes acute when first point religion is seen as the basis of nation second when one religion and its follower are discriminated against another third point when people start believing that beliefs of one religion are superior to those of the other religion next point when the demands of one religion group are formed in opposition to another and last point when state power is used to establish the domination of one religion group over the rest next question question number 3 state how caste inequalities are still continuing in india so answer even now most of the people marry within their own caste or tribes untouchability has not ended completely despite constitutional prohibition effects of centuries of advantage and disadvantage continue to be felt today next question question number 4 state two reasons to say that caste alone cannot determine election results in india so answer the two reason to say that caste alone cannot determine the election results in india are first point state legislature has majority of any caste group even caste group is represented in parliament caste groups can be ignored and all voter support is needed to win elections second point second point in one constituency you cannot have candidates for one caste only or voters belonging to the majority caste it means that no political party represents one caste next question question number 5 what is the status of women representations in india's legislative body so answer in india the women's participation in the political area is very low the women's strength in the lok sabha is not even 10% their share in state assemblies is as low as 5% the share of women in india is behind those of several developing countries of latin america and africa one probable solution to increase the women's participation in the political system is to make legal laws for the minimum numbers of seats to be filled by the women candidates 
in the panchayat and municipalities it is legally binding to fill one third of the seats by women candidates this has resulted in 10 lakhs elected women representatives in the local government bodies next question question number six mention any constitutional provinces that make india as a secular state so answer first point Freedom to be practiced, profess and propagate the religion of one's choice. Second point, there is no state or official reason. So next question, question number 7. When we speak of gender division, we usually refer to First option, biological differences between man and woman. Second option, unequal roles assigned by the society to man and woman. Third option, unequal child sex ratio. And fourth option, Absence of voting rights for women in democracies. Answer for this question option number B. Unequal roles assigned by the society to men and women. So next question, question number 8. In India, seats are reserved for women in First option, Lok Sabha. Second option, State Legislative Assemblies. Third option, Cabinet. And fourth option, Panchayati Raj Bodies. So answer for this question option number D. Panchayati Raj Bodies. So next question, question number 9, consider the following statements on the meaning of communal politics. Communal politics is based on their beliefs that first option, one religion is superior to that of others. Second option, people belonging to different religion can happily live together as equal citizen. Third option, followers of a particular region constitute one community. And fourth option, state power control cannot be used to establish the domination of one religious group over others. Which of these statements is are correct? So answer for this question, option number C, A and C. Next question, question number 10. Which among the following statements is about Indian's constitution is wrong? First option, it prohibits discrimination on ground of religion. Second option, it gives official status to one religion. And third option, it provides to all individual freedom to profess any religion. And fourth option, it ensures equality of citizen within different religious community. So answer for this question, option number B, it gives official status to one religion. So next question, question number 11, social divisions based on dash are peculiar to India. So answer caste. So next question, question number 12. Match list first with list 2 and select the correct answer using the codes given below the list. So here list first and here list 2. So first one, a person who believes in equal rights and opportunities for women and men. Match with feminist. Next question, a person who says that religion is the principal basis of community. Match with communalist. Next question, question number third. A person who thinks that caste is the principal basis of community. Match with casteist. Next question, question number four. A person who does not discriminate others on the basis of religious beliefs. Match with secularist. So question number 12. All answers are present here. So you can match from here. So finally this chapter was completed and this chapter takes two parts. This is your second part and first part link in description. So thank you.